Hello everybody, Targal here, and welcome to a brand new series on Minecraft. Brand new game, Minecraft, um, hasn't been out for a while, I'm just kidding. But I haven't had any Minecraft on my channel in a long time, and after a long break, um, I didn't want to take this break, but I was really discouraged um, after I lost my entire journey across the void series. Um, I'll leave a little bit of a description uh, down in the underneath the video explaining what happened i don't really want to talk about it right now because it's a new start a new server on the ftog community the ftp interactions mod pack was voted on by everybody as the next mod pack that we wanted to have on our new server and so i put this up here yesterday it went live and today i decided i'm gonna start recording on this so this is our spawn when you come in if you guys want to join us uh, read the rules join us in discord uh, it's really important that you know all the rules because, well, you don't want to break them, right? Um, there is barely any changes to the mod pack at all. Um, the only thing I took out was the island visit command because I don't like that people can just go around looking at everybody's builds um, in spectator mode. So you need to request via TPA to visit somebody else's island. That's the only major change. But up here it shows you exactly what you need to do to get started. I already created my island to make sure that I'm in the right biome and everything. And let's go ahead and go there now. So you just type island home once you have one. And bam, here we are. This is the island that you spawn with. We got a little transmutation table, a tree, and some dirt. And lights, pretty lights. Yes, and I'm in a plains biome. Let's check up here, right? Yes, I'm in a plains biome. I did turn off my minimap, by the way. I don't really need a minimap. If I want to turn it on again, I can just turn it on right there. But it's really not needed. Okay, so it's very quest driven and I am going to, oh, I checked out some stuff here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read all of these up here real quick because all of these with an exclamation point, you just need to complete the task, but each one of them tell you something important about the pack. So I'm going to go ahead and look through them all real quick. And if there's something that sticks out, um, like this one here, um, if you see one of these, it actually tells you there is a section containing information that can't be found in GAI. Or useful tips and tricks to get you through the pack. And you get a little bit of reward. You just accept it. And done. Um, I think you need to click on them. Yes. Just like that. What do we get here? What is that? Oh, I got some XP and a fairy imbued apple. Okay. These are the items up here that you start. Default. Um, the one probe. Um, you don't really need this. What you can do here is if you hold down shift and right click. It opens this and you can move your tooltip to different positions. Scale it. Reskin it. But if you ever want to do this without this paper, because you don't need it in this pack, I already tried it. What you can simply do is type top CFG. Top stands for the one probe config, and it opens the same window. So you don't need to hold on to that. It's, you know, less space in your uh, chest or inventory. Okay, let me go ahead and read through this real quick. All right, they're all red, and I set my key binding um, to numpad one. It actually recommends it. I don't know if it's by default to open the quest book. Otherwise, you can just take the quest book and also open it, but in one of these exclamation points here, it actually tells you, um, where is it? Do, do, do. It doesn't matter, one of these here, um, that if once we get a chisel, we can actually turn this quest book into other manuals. So we're gonna, actually, let's just check here. If I do usage chisel, yeah, check it out. That is really cool. So you can just chisel through them. Um, we do, wow, what is that one book called? That, um, the tome? um i don't think it's in here you know the one where you can actually have all books in one i don't know maybe i'll remember the name if you guys remember just put it down in the comments and then i'll look for it because it would be nice i like having the manuals and reading them uh, astro tome of course we need lunchbox is empty and the tome of knowledge is actually the first quest that we're going to start with here because it tells you put the book in a transmutation table to beat the pack congrats all right thanks for watching everybody i'm kidding uh, but what that does is you guys see there's nothing in here but when we put this in here, we get 32 EMC, and it unlocks a bunch of things here. And we can even make another Tome of Knowledge. Not sure what that is for, but... Um, so we get all kinds of saplings, leaves, and even some of the basic rocks. All kinds of tinkers, dirt, more leaves, grass, sticks, sand, and ice. Snow, so that's really cool. And some different color cobbles, which I'm really enjoying here. And then even the one probe. Oh, I could have put that in here. I would have gotten one whole EMC. Oh, I'm such a waster. <laughs> okay, so we got this quest completed. And we get a little bit of food. And then this one here, um, I believe, 
you can just check mark in case you lose it and then you can actually get another one um i think this is a one-time thing so let's just put it in here oh they doubled it gave me a lot of emc cool all right so let's see what's next i'm gonna crank a lot of these out here guys i looked through them uh, most of them look pretty easy to do and of course task we just need an oak sapling now to get rewards i did set up my it is not called vein miner or excavator it's from uh, ftb actually but i bound mine to v i don't know what the default is hold it down and bam it breaks them all and it also tells you in these starting pages that it only works on certain things um like ore um and leaves and grass and stuff like that because they don't want hammers and axes and so on or lumber axes to become um obsolete so even if i hold down v nothing happens i only break one at a time right so let's just take this one down so we can go ahead and replant it right away and even if i would have lost a sapling or not gotten one i could have just bought one from the transmutation table right but we're gonna go ahead and put that here and by the way um right now in the beginning um only dirt and sticks give you emc so like these sticks right here give me two emc each wood does not okay also the apple i tried but let's go ahead and throw this in here um we already knew it and i can just take them out if i need to, right so and we can of course twerk meow, and there is the next tree right super fast and so at this one we get a little bit more food and now it wants us to make all these tools here we need seven flint and i also need three stone rods and the way we get flint is by taking gravel so i'm gonna need seven so that is 21 of these um, gravel, so I can make enough flint. I don't think I'm going to have enough. Oh, just short. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get a little bit more EMC here. A couple more sticks. And even a sapling. Saplings give you 32, so that's really nice. And then I can get one more gravel. And then I need... doesn't matter what color, but it's just easier for me two of these right there and then we can turn all of this into flint there's my seven flint that completed there is my four stone rods and then yes okay so there's the axe head and now it's me trying to remember no not the shears okay i need to look this up real quick not familiar with these recipes where is it so it's in the middle and then the three okay oh wait what well i can do that in one of these tables seriously okay so there's the shovel no i can and then this is the pick there we go and then we can just put them together so we get our first pick um our hatchet and our shovel good all right, then we'll hold on to this stuff. And we'll get rewards. Yeah, more food. Nice. Okay, and now it tells you on how you actually get planks. So we need eight planks. And the way you do that is you right-click this and you get one plank. So, but we don't need to do this for much longer because we're going to get a little bit of a sawmill going here very soon. And I need three more. So let me go ahead and make those real quick. And, oh yeah, I need to eat because all this... I'm, I'm just going to keep calling it vein mining, guys, because that's just a term that I'm used to. I know it's not the mod vein mine, but... Um, there we go. And then I can get the rest of these. And I'm just going to make them all. There we go. All right, we got nine. And I get more of this here. I noticed in the beginning, because I'm not a patient person waiting... Um, so I do a lot of the vein mining on the leaves just to get this done. Um, is there actual crooks? Dark crook. I'm pretty sure that's not in our budget. No, it's not. All right, okay. Um, so, sorry. What did this quest um, tell us, actually? We got food. Void speed run challenge. If you beat Bugsy's time, submit your video and replace them as a victor in the quest book. Oh, I think this is a video you can watch about somebody beating the pack in really 28 minutes. Holy moly. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take my time and enjoy it if you guys don't mind. <laughs> All right. And then it wants us to make the shears right there. Okay. And we'll get this. And then over here, 
Ah, yes, we can make water with the ice that we can buy. Okay, so I just gotta get two more flint here. Ah, sorry, two more. Yeah, flint. And let's go ahead and make the shears. Kablam. All right. Not really sure what I need shears for. Maybe to do something with it. I'm gonna get the buttons right here soon. Sorry about that. Okay, so we got this, and now, yes, now we, here we go. Now I'm gonna click on A and A over here, because what this does now is... What? Why you no Addy? It worked before. Okay, so let's A here. Now it added them up here. Okay, I'm not sure. I had this um, when I was testing before as well. Some, if I think if you have something in there, let's just try this. Now I press A. And it added it. But if you don't have anything in there and press A, then for some reason um, it it doesn't show them, even though it added them. Okay, so what do we need to do for this here? In a crafting bench and then the three tools. And for this one, I need three sticks and two cobblestone. All right, let's get this done. Very easy quest in the beginning. And so far, I'm, I, I, I liked it, everything I've seen. And... Um... Wait a second. Oh, yeah, so I need to make a crafting table, actually, so I can actually, I should say actually a couple more times, so I can make this stuff here, and now I'm going to need to make another one in this one, and then it was maybe like this? No? There we go. And you actually keep your tools. It doesn't use them. Okay, and this is like your main crafting um, station in the beginning. Um, and you put stuff in here, and then this is what the shears are for, for example, you put them in here. Um, and then we're gonna make a toolbox here in a second, so you can have all the tools in one place right next to it, it's actually really neat. And... Oh, I still need to make the mallet, there we go. Bam, bam. And this again is just for the crafting station here. Alright, give, give me my fish and we're getting a toolbox there we go and i can put this toolbox right next to here and now if i put tools in here you guys see it puts them in even when you shift click it puts it back over here and if you have something in it and you click something else it replaces that and i just noticed why is this tooltip following yeah it's fine a little bit big but anyway so okay there we go and then the next thing here is um now we're making a flint axe um, in the regular crafting table, because this is actually neat, because then we can um, use it like a lumber axe, and it takes on all the wood at once. So, well, it's quicker, right? So let's see, I have 46 EMC, I'm going to only need two sticks, let's put the rest in here for now, because I'm going to get some in a second. So... Wait, is it... Is it three flint or two flint? Uh, where's the thing here? There it is. It's three. I'm gonna add this over here as well. Everything that I'm... Like this one I can take off, but these things here I probably need to craft more than once. So I do need three flint. Okay. Let's get this done. Nope. Bam. Good. Now we have something that we can chop down the logs easier. Let me just show you. And then I can also just let the leaves despawn. There is no... There is no uh, fast leaf decay, so it takes a while for everything to come down here. And again, if you're not patient enough, you just do this and done. But I need to stop doing that because I'm going to run out of food here in no time. Ooh, three saplings. That's lots of EMC. Very nice. Okay, what's next on the agenda? I need to make a saw. And this over here, we need string. And this one will get to through the strainer. But let's go ahead and make the saw first. So we can actually... Um, cut wood uh, into more than just one plank and this is just two stick three and flint here we go um whenever i have already shown something on camera like to make the flint or how to make these stone rods i'm not going to show it anymore guys because i do want to get a lot done today i want to get actually a lot built i, I want to get through this and our island is going to be up in the air above this here i want to get up higher because there's astro sorcery in the pack and I am not sure if it's going to be important to be up higher, but this way we have a started basement, right? I don't, I can come down and up and so on easier. What elevation am I on? 
67. Oh, by the way, something really important. I do want to point that out. I forgot. And it said it um, right here. Natural spawns are disallowed in the void. That includes hostels in the dark rooms and passives on grass. So nothing will spawn here. So I don't care if I actually need to go down lower to get squid spawning. You know, all those typical things for um, skyblocks. So I'm, I'm actually perfectly happy with that. I, I like it. Um, it's going to keep the island easier and you don't need to light everything up. You can build pretty if you want. Okay, but let's go ahead and make the strainer. I need to make three of those, one of those and one of those at least. And I'm going to add another one. Add the strainer. And that is this one here. I'm going to make one of each for now because I need three strainer bases anyways. So now you guys see is we need to start using this basic work table. No liquids yet. I need to make some fences, vanilla recipe, the hopper here, vanilla. It's not a vanilla recipe, but a regular crafting table with just a trap door and then just planks in a chest. And the chest is just, um, come on. Okay, let's just add that because I'm going to need to make a couple of these um, just in here. Um, yes, this you can do it on vanilla crafting table, but you need more wood. And if you do it in this basic work table, you just need the saw with eight planks to make a chest. All right, so let me get all this stuff together. And then for this here, this took me a minute to figure out. Um, we can use twine instead of string. It also tells you in the quest book, which is plant fibers. Okay, what was this for? I thought there was a use for that. Oh, yes, to make torches. I remember. You know what? Let's just go ahead and do that real quick. So let me just grab... A couple of sticks here, so we'll make some torches. So I have them. When we expand, I can light it up a little bit. And kablam, we got our first torches. Good. And let's put this here. All right. So, um, yes, twine. How did I make twine again? This was plant fibers, and plant fibers I got from grass. Yes. So in order to make this here, I'm going to need one. One. So six and eight, 14 and 14 times uh, seven times three is I need 21 of these. So I need 21 grass if my math math on camera, bad idea, but hopefully I'm right. So let's go ahead and see if I can get 21 of this. I wish there was something like control click to get 20. You can only do shift click to get um, a whole stack, right? Uh, wrong table, this one right here. And I think it was like that. Yeah, so there's 21 plant fibers, and then usage makes twine. Just yes, okay. So my bad. Yeah, my math was completely wrong, but that's nothing new. So that, and so I'm gonna need uh, what tool goes in here? This. I need a two of these. So one for this and one for that. So let's go ahead and make two of them. And then this last one here is just eight. Oh my god, my math was right. Woohoo! World first for me. <laughs> All right, and then this one here, it's gonna take a few minutes until we have the sugar cane. Um, we can make the sticks and the sticks. All right, so I need 16 sticks. All right, there we go. And in here, so this one, a blam, maybe the hammer. No, let's not guess. Oh, just regular crafting table. That's why. Um, blam. So there's one of these, and then the other one I need for the sugar cane. Okay. And then how do I make you? Okay, this is the other one. There we go. And for now, I'm just going to have three of these strainers. That's the next thing we need to make here. So I'm actually going to need more planks. And now I forgot. Can I actually use the saw to... Um, I don't think I can cut them into planks. Let's do recipe on this. I can. Okay, so I do. All right, so let's go ahead. Do I need any regular logs for this? Not for that and not for that. Okay, so I should be able to cut them all like that. So I'm going to get 22, which I don't think is... Uh, what? Oh, the saw is not strong enough to make another one. So I need to make another one. Uh, okay, so we're going to need a chest. What was this again? The hammer? 
That's gonna take me a while to figure out. There we go. Chest and now the saw is gone. So we have this chest, but I need um, also this here. Let's go ahead and make the trap doors. And then kablam kablam. There is one. Oh, I need to make three. Okay, so I got you guys get the idea. I need to cut down a couple more trees so I get enough wood. And I am gonna double it with the saw for now because that's gonna save me a little bit of time. And the nice thing is I'm gonna get a bunch of sticks and saplings so I get more EMC as well. But let me go ahead and do a couple minutes of grinding here to get all this done. I went through four of these stone saws. They don't last a long time. You can um, break 10 uh, wood into planks. Uh, but anyway, I got everything done here. Let's go ahead and get these three strainer bases. And that completed that quest. We get anything good? Ooh, oh, and an efficiency meter. That's actually pretty handy. Okay, and then... Um, I think let's just go ahead and set that. I actually really want this one here. Um, this is more important to me right now. But I need to make this clay kin first, which requires me to set these up in order to get clay. Okay, so where am I gonna put this? Hmm. I am pretty sure that there is... Uh, where did I see it? Let's see here. Fifth. Yes, there is something underneath here. I see stone slabs and bedrock. So I think for now, I'm actually gonna put my tree farm here. And I am just going to... Hmm. Okay, hopefully... Well, if I lose it, I lose it. Too bad. See you later. Are you serious? Alright, good. Well, too bad that I lost that terracotta, but it's okay. So I'm actually... I want to spread the grass over here, because this right here... I am going to dig up completely. We're gonna reuse this. Oh, angel block. Hello. Well, that is a nice little thing there. So let me go ahead and dig all this up. And why am I doing it like this? Kablam! Vein miner and a couple more over here. And now I'm wondering... Let's see what's underneath here. There's more. And then here's bedrock. Okay. Because I actually would like this to be too deep. So... I, I don't really care if I lose these stone slabs. Alright, I'm glad I got this one. So I'm going to have to, hmm, I need to break this one here. So if I vein mine, it's not going to take these up. Let's get this one and that one. And now, I'm, oh, I can stand on the bedrock. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get really close. So hopefully they all pop into my inventory. But this is just my luck, isn't it? <laughs> Ah, oh, well, too bad. Okay, so what am I gonna use for this? Um, I really don't want to... Oh, you know what? I'm gonna just get some cobble. So, what I'm gonna do now is... Island home. There we go. So, I'm not there anymore. And we're gonna get a bunch of this cobble here. And we are going to make it... Let's see. This one here. Great cobblestone. Let's get a stack of this real quick. And that way... Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, let's see. Ooh, jumped a little early, but I made it. Okay, now I can go ahead and fill this out completely down here. And so I have a nice floor, and I can then fill all of this with water and make it work for my strainers, because it should be... If I remember too deep, and they need to have, like, flowing blocks against them and all kinds of stuff, but hopefully we'll figure that out with the efficiency meter. All right, fast forward. I'm gonna save you guys a little bit of a testing session here because it turned out that this mod is actually much, much simpler than I thought. You don't need to have water coming from all. It's literally, you need to have it coming from one place. And this is the ideal setup here from what I found. I cannot get higher than plus 10%. Apparently it depends on what biome you're on. You get bonuses as well. And like, I'm, I just wanna show you guys here real quick that if I put this block here, you guys thought it was a plus 10% here on this one on the first one the efficiency goes down to zero so it's in the water source block that flows out here it's 10 percent, and then i believe here in the last one it would be seven percent and then the further you go away the the less efficiency you get um up until i don't know like 
negative 10% or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. But here we go. Now it's plus 7. So right here, this one spot. So you just need a 3 white canal. And by the way, I also tested this. If I have 2 right here like this, check it out. This one is negative 5 and this one is negative 8. So just keep them just like that. And I just used this like turquoise one. So it kind of looks like water down there. Just like that. And this is the highest efficiency that we can get. So this is what the platform looks like now. So we're going to put this one back into that and put this one here and this one there. And I don't know if how many of these I'm going to make. I'm probably going to fill them up just so we have them. The more materials, the better. And I might as well just place these so I can put the rest of the ice away. And I'm not going to break them if I don't need to, but like this one, because I think it will just flow into the hole right here. Yeah, just like that. I guess I can because if I put a block here now, the strainer afterwards, bam, it will start flowing. So, okay. But just like that, and I saved you guys about 15 minutes of me setting up something way complicated over here, trying to make this all nice and neat, and now it is the neatest it has been this whole time. So, there we go. Let's go ahead and put this other strainer into this one. And let's see. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm going to wait this out here. Um, let's get rid of all of this stuff and turn in some quests. I don't need these anymore. And I don't think, yeah, we cannot get any of this. Um, I already put the sand in here that we got from the other one. And we already have a couple of clay, which is actually perfect. Um, let's go ahead and complete this quest right now. I think it's just like that. Yes, there we go. All right. And then I need to make two of these right there. Um... Wait, I, I want to have them kind of around here, close to me. So let me go ahead and get two blocks. And we do have fire spread turned off. That's what I always do on public servers, right? That just makes a lot of sense. So there cannot... Well, griefing, I'm not too worried about in this community. Everybody's really good. Um, but just, you know, fire spread. It sucks when you have it on and something happens and you lose everything. So let's go ahead and do it like this. Because... I'm going to have to put something behind this for a moment. And then another one here. Do I have any more clay? I want to make two of these. Seven. I need one more. Come on. Give it to me. Maybe by the time this one is done, I have it. Um, we're going to put this one. Let's light it first. So you have to have one in your offhand and one in your main hand. So you have them like and you right click once. And then you do this animation, put it on fire, and the thing goes boom. And then you place the kiln above it. And then shortly after, this is going to turn into clay. Or hardened clay, whatever it is. Come on. Anytime. There we go. And now it is functional. And now we can put a log on here. And this will turn into this stuff here. The low-grade charcoal. So that's your first fuel. And this fire doesn't go out. I don't honestly know how you're supposed to do it if you have fire sprint turned on because the fire would go out after a while because it's not netherrack. Or maybe it's smart enough to know if there's a kiln above it to 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 not um, extinguish it. I have no idea. Let's eat some of these apples. I'm not too worried about our nutrition yet. Um, here we go. Put this back. And there we go. We got our first low-grade charcoal. All right. Now let's see. Do we have... Wow. Look at that. Okay, cook them all. Let's put the second one right there because you can only put one item at a time. So I do want to have at least two of them. The quest book also recommends that. Oh, yes. And I need to make two more of these. One in there and one in my off or main hand. I'll light this one on fire. Uh, let's put you here and that. Then I can get rid of these two. All right. I am not actually sure. Let's just check real quick here. Kiln. I'm curious as to usage right there. What can we turn? We turn this into flint, charcoal, 34 pages, but can I like cook fish? Okay, so that we can make some snacks. So this like a furnace. Definitely not as many materials. Okay, uh, where did I just see sand? We get glass shard. Wow. Okay, and it takes four of that to make a glass block. So that's that's quite a loss there. But we can make brick one for one. All right, so we can make some... Ooh, smooth stone. I gotta try this out. Because 
I'd love to get three, four, whatever this hammer, um, pedestal is called. Let's see if it does actually smelt that into smooth stone and right there. Okay, and while we wait, let's turn in some quests. Um, we have a bunch of quests um, completed here, right? It explains to you how to make water. There's even some down here that completed, like when I made the flint. And then here when I made the wooden hopper and the chest. Now you could go one by one or you can just click up here. Collect rewards for five. Bam. And there they all. Nice. This is the flint block. That's actually why I want this. Um, I'm sure that the quest book is going to tell us how to get there. But this flint block here, you can turn in the stone anvil to flint. Which saves me a couple extra steps because now we just got 16 of them. And I can use this guy. A blam space. Oh yes. Let's put some of the stuff out that I don't need. Um a blam. I don't need this one anymore. Alright, good enough. So did you smelt? Yes. Oh, we get XP too. Alright. I heard something just I don't see any mobs. I don't know what I just heard. Okay, how we're doing on this guy here? Seed, canola seed. Okay, no grass seed yet. And there's our first worm. So I definitely want, I need eight sugar cane. It's just going to take some time. That's why I think it's better to have multiple of these strainers. So I need to make four, six more of those, which I'm going to do in a minute. But before we do that, I need to have a sawmill first. But now that we have this, I want to try it out. And that is... Um, usage, let's go ahead. I know I'm jumping the gun here, but it's fine. Like I said, I'm pretty sure the quest book is going to tell us this, but I need a stone. I already have stone slab. There we go. So I only need one of you. Let's go ahead and make this. There we go. No idea how you use it. Let's put this there. So do I maybe need to hit this with a hammer? Um... Let's check the quest book here real quick. If I see it somewhere, whoops, probably up here. And if it would explain it to us. No, I don't think. Infinity dust. I don't see that symbol here, so it could be somewhere else. Um, uh, is it from the same mod? Primal tech, artisan work tables. No. Okay, let's check. At primal tech. Stone mallet. Um, that thing is in here, isn't it? Yes. Bash on the stone anvil. Okay. So let's try this. Ah, right click. That does it. All right, sweet. All right, one more thing before I actually get to making all these strainers here. We still need to make the sawmill. Was that what's called? Water powered saw. There we go. So we make that thing. And then we'll go ahead. I got the rest done already. Um, there we go. Now we got this guy. And it's a little bit tricky to set up. You need to get this just in the right area. So let's let me try it. I think I need to place it from behind. It like it, it moves them away from you, if I remember that right. Is it moving? No. It might have to sit above the actual water source block. And yeah, let's just try it over here. So let's put it there. We need that thing to be spinning. There we go. Now it's spinning. And then you know you have it in the right block. So it needs to be above a water source block. And now I can put these on here. And it actually is going to give me four planks. And I don't need to make a million... Um, saws anymore that's it so now i have a much easier time getting the planks and i can make all these strainers it's going to be a piece of cake with the saw um you can put a hopper on it to automatically feed it but i have not figured out a way to pick it up yet i i tried hoppers next to it underneath obviously i cannot put a hopper because it will kill the water source block right that it needs to operate so unfortunately you just need to i guess what i can do so I can actually go AFK or edit the video. Let's go ahead and do that. I still have one of these. Kablam. Let's do this. And we're going to put it right there. Right there. There we go. 
And then I, I noticed this has a little bit of a display issue at time. I think you can right click them. It puts one. But you guys see it doesn't go away until after some time. It's a little bit weird. Um, so the way I did it before is I just stand on here and I'm going to use a whole stack and I just drag it and drop it in there and it disappears. And then after like a minute or something, it will actually show you that. And I can just stand here now and will automatically suck up those plants and yep, go AFK, edit the video. And then by the time I'm done, everything is going to be cut up and I'm ready to craft these six more strainers. Check it out. When you hold down shift so you crouch, it actually shows you the what it has. 16 oak wood, now 15 in this hopper here. That's pretty nice. The second time I'm running a stack through here because I needed a lot of wood. Everything is done over here. And let's just put this away. But first, I wanted to fill this lunchbox and check it out. It's a little surprise. There's food in here. Blackberries and blueberries. And we're just going to put that in here and then shift right click. And now if I need to eat, I can just right click this and it will um, eat whatever it wants. I'm, I'm not exactly sure how it works. And I think if you right click a chest, um, it would, yeah, it exchanged some of these foods here. So if you have a food chest, you can just right click and it fills it with things that you guess you haven't e recently eaten. So let's see what it put in here instead. It put this one here. I don't want this in here. I want to get rid of these other ones first. Um, like this tuna fish melt. Because we do have the nutrition mod here. And the higher I can get each category, the more buffs I'm going to get. And I'm actually doing good. Everything is over 50%. I think when something gets to 40%. It, depending on the settings, you will start getting negative effects like mining fatigue and all that gobbledygook. Um, but the higher you get, then we'll get buffs. So I want to be on top of that as early as I can because it makes it easier. So I did add another one of these survivalist strainers over here because I'm not patient enough. And we got our cotton seed. Let's go ahead and take all that out. We got the cotton seed here and over here I saw we finally got grass seed. Okay, and that completed the quest and we're going to keep this grass seed for now. Because I do want to put this over here. Bam. Spread for me. And then, yeah, the other ones here are just starting to slowly fill up with stuff. Actually, um, I do have eight. So I could switch one of these out. Let's go ahead and use this guy here. And then I'm going to use that over here. Because I'm, I don't, I'm not in a rush for seeds right now. And we can take this. And metal, please. There we go. And we got our fisherman strainer, which does not break. You only need to make this once. And we'll put this in here. And the cool thing is that... Oh yeah, I need bait. And that one I get from these guys. So let me go ahead and grab all the bait that I can find. There, the first one should have the most. Okay, that was this one here. Okay, I already got them and there's none in here. And you need bait for these and now it's gonna make me stuff. And especially bones. We're going to need here what I've seen in the next quest. Speaking of quests, I totally forgot about these up here. Completed them all. They're all just reading and accepting. And it just explains to you what the different shapes of these quests mean. Okay, that's it. So we completed the visual. Uh, this one here. The saw. We also completed this. Now we completed that. So we have three, right? Yes, there we go. Give me the rewards. Got a string, curry rice, and some more XP. Good. Um, usage for the string. Let's see. Oh, way too much to look through. So we'll just hope that the quest book will guide us there. Now let's see what else we can complete today. I think... Yeah, we get the bones from the strainer. To make the porcelain for the melter, you need some bone meal. You can get bones from the strainer. But I do want to make this trap. Oh, wow. It wants us to make four. All right. And then I need a raw beef that I get from there and I get three more. Must be placed on the same Y level as the grass, so in the ground. And have access to at least five grass or dirt blocks. It only counts blocks on cardinal directions up to two blocks away. Okay, we recommend you extend your platform, yada, yada, yada. I'm just going to put that over there, right there. There's enough room for now. And what does it take to make you? Oh, um, let me add this. A, anything. So it pops up again and now I can remove this. What does it take to make you? Ah, that's what I need the string for. Okay. So it wants four of them. So we'll need 12. And then we'll need sticks, planks. Oh, I could have made that with the twine as well. So let's go ahead and get this and that. 
and let's go ahead and um think with you a blam no with you yes one two three and i cannot make the fourth one it keeps going down to like one durability but i have a fourth one in here i think yes there we go all right and then i'll need where did i put the planks oh yeah. in here so what there we go i need four of you and what else the string and sticks i got it all right and i need to make you right there bam four done okay Let me leave this here so it needs to have at least two block it counts two blocks in every direction and it needs to have at least five around it it says so why don't i why don't you get out of my way here thank you so why don't i just put them here like that should work all right i know this is two blocks away but it counts in two blocks and it said it needs to have at least five was the number five grass or dirt blocks it only counts and so that would be one two and it doesn't care if there's a tree above it i'm hoping i do not know though if it needs access to sunlight but i doubt it and for this of course we need some bait so let's go ahead and we need to complete this then make sure more than one bait make sure you put more than one bait in each trap as the first bait merely activates the trap and is always lost with no byproduct okay so what kind of a bait can we make there's a fruit bait which is gonna give what oh aspects i thought it's gonna give us fully cooked fruits <laughs> um so we get chicken leather feather eggs okay nice so that's the fruit bait the grain bait usage gives us the same stuff it looks like do they all give us the same stuff okay this one doesn't have beef but it has mutton one okay so they are a little bit different i don't really want to spend too much time right now figuring out exactly and then of course we have the fish trap which we don't need because we have the other thing and i don't really want all of these pam's fish anyway so what does it take to make this a string and fruit can i use apple i hope so grain bait is probably any wheat and veggie bait any kind okay so i think i'm gonna make these two here and then put like two over there and two in the other one let's just try that um and it takes lots of twine or string okay um hmm i will just buy it that's fine okay grass let me give a stack here and then i'm gonna need to make new shears again i bet no okay actually you stay in there this is plant fibers and then was it like this yes so there is my twine and i have six more twine in here okay and then let's see if I can use these apples. And I guess we are going to need to make... Is there like a starter hole? I saw that there is one from a quest reward, but we're not there just yet. And I want to get this set up as the last thing today. So we can actually um, grow a bunch of stuff and wait for the traps and the, and the, and the, the strainers and so on. Um, what am I looking for? Flint. There is a karma... There's the Maddock, which I can't make. Okay. Oh, can I can I just make a wooden hole? All right, let's do that. That's the easiest. Kablam. And there we go. There's my hole. And then I'll need... To, eh, let's just take one ice block right now. That's good enough. And... Yes, okay. Did I take all the apples? I did. Bait. Let's see if this works. Yes. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Okay. Nice. So we're going to put two of that. And now um, we're just going to have to go ahead and grow some wheat here somewhere. And I think the easiest way to do that is just let's use this corner here. Why not? Okay. There we go. And then we can go up to four. One, two, three, four. I wonder if this is gonna bother it right there. 
but it would still have one, two, three, four, five. So it should still work. Now this one is going to be a problem. You know what? Let's just no. Oh. Get out of my face. I'd like to trample you. Thank you very much. And we'll just come to here. Or to there. <laughs> All right. And let me go ahead and get some seeds. So right there. Let's go ahead and do that. And then I saw in the quest book that there is actually something here that looks very interesting. And that is this stuff here. Um, there's where I get a hole here. You can craft this. Let me add it. And apparently when a plant is like 85%, you can right click it with this and it will duplicate that plant. So that's very interesting. I, I want to check that out. Okay, no bones yet. And just keep this here and put that away. And I'm going to need to make more of that stuff. But you guys get the idea. I am going to make this grain bait here between episodes once I have some wheat I can harvest. And then plant that over there as well. She does twerking work with this? I highly doubt it. No, I don't see any effects. Okay, so I'm just going to have to wait this out. And we're going to use this guy and this guy. All right, these two are going to be fruits. But that is it for today, guys. I think we got a lot done. I'm happy so far. And yeah, we'll see where this takes us, this quest book. Um, eventually, I'm going to probably stray off it, you know, and actually set up a lot of automations. This is kind of my thing. I want to focus on this series. Um, we're going to do some magic, of course, because I'm sure there's a lot of it needed. Because there's so many custom recipes and stuff. Um, and it's fun. I haven't done like Astro Sorcery in a long time. And the same with Thumbcraft is also in here. But the ones that I'm really looking forward to is... Logistics Pipes again. Logis logistics Pipes is in here. And... There is a new Greg Tech that I have not played in a long time. And I am really looking forward to this. I don't know. It's interesting that it's called CEU. But it shows up as Greg Tech. But yeah, there's lots of multi-block structures... I saw there's this, this, whatever this mod is called, this special multi-block mod. And I just, I cannot wait to get my hands on these machines and automate it all. I mean, look at this, 44 pages when I search for Greg. That's insane. There they are. These are all these machines here. Assemblers and fluid canner and all the good stuff that I've been missing. Ooh, diesel generator. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to do a lot of tech in this series. I really want to automate. Not too big because I am playing on a public server. So I want to make sure that, you know, I'm no... Uh, cause of lag as much as I can, but otherwise I do want to automate the world, right? But that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one Let me end with my nice wave over here. Take care. Stay safe and bye-bye <laughs>